Hello everybody, welcome to a new game. This is Signs of the Sojourner. This is a story-based deck builder, which, you know how I love deck builders. I'm kind of on a kick for them at the moment because I just released that video on my main channel. And uh, I'm just, you know, trying to bunch out because there's still so many that I haven't played. I've heard a lot of good things about this one from my friend who is the person who sent me the key on behalf of uh, the developers. Which is, uh, you know, great because I was looking for something else to play. But this is specifically a story-based game as opposed to a combat-based game. So let's go ahead and begin the story and see what we can get ourselves into. A childhood spat, the worst fight of you and Elias, or the worst fight you and Elias ever had was over a strange locket in Mom's desk. Curiosity got the best of you, but Elias was afraid of getting in trouble. Your mom has collected so much cool stuff in here. How many towns has she visited now? Okay, so, so far... And this is why <laughs> I think I never bothered uh, trying it out uh, for myself. Um, the game, like, it, it's so abstract. And I hate to say it, but like, abstract does not necessarily... I hate to say it because abstract does not necessarily mean bad. It's just, it's hard to like get across what the game is about in just pictures when everything is symbols. But you're connecting these symbols. Circle is empathetic and observant. And then triangle is logical and diplomatic. So if I connect, they're all the same. Okay. So he just played Logic with logic. I played empathy with empathy. What if I... I'm not going to be able to? <clears throat> so what did we do? <clears throat> Completing a sequence will earn a white square. A mismatch will earn a black square. When all, black, or when all white or black squares have been earned, the conversation will end. <laughs> this was a positive exchange. Click on speech bubbles to, pe to view previous dialogue. Huh. Again, very abstract so far. Let's play Caravaneers, just like her. You'll be the driver, I'll be the navigator. Wait, hang on. You shouldn't look in her desk. She's gonna be mad. Is that a locket? I've never seen your mom wear a locket. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you so mad, man? Hey, you're not listening? We shouldn't be snooping. Wait, do I have to... Do I have to predict what he's gonna do based on... Based on his, his conversation? I can't... I can't mismatch it. Or I can't match it. I can't rotate these. Not that I know of, anyway. The game never told me I could. Why do you always drag me into stuff like this? Put it back before we get caught. That fight could have only ended how it did. You and Elias talked past each other. Sometimes mom said, it's fine to not get along, but that time she stepped in to mediate. You two, what are you doing in here? I'll need to leave soon. The caravan's almost here. Come say goodbye. What are you even fighting about? Mom! I wanted a snoop in your drawer, <laughs> but Elias wouldn't let me. An accord is created when you and the other person each play one card together connecting four of the same symbol in a row. A accord will protect your progress when a mismatch is made. Oh. This is like, this, this seems more like a logic based card game than anything else. So mom's just gonna try to keep using empathy, I think. Yeah, good old mom. <laughs> She's not gonna logic at all. It's okay to not always understand each other. One mi miscommunication doesn't have to end a friendship. Let me help you figure this out. And we carried the accord to the next one. If you get a little lost, think about how he's reacted in the past. How you've been able to connect and get past your differences. Okay. 
Think of how we've been able to connect in the past. So like this, because he, he likes to play logic before empathy. Not all disagreements have to be the end of your friendship. Listen to each other, see if you can find common ground. You'd think back on that fight years later after mom passed on when you and Elias had to rely on each other all the more. So is that the entire tutorial? Am I going to have to figure the rest of this out on my own? It's your first time back inside mom's old store since the funeral. All told, she didn't leave much. She was always on the road, and what she brought back sold fast. Elias runs his hand down an empty shelf before clearing his throat. You feel it too, don't you? The, uh, weirdness of being in here without your mom? Can't seem to wrap my head around her being gone. <laughs> my bad. Now I'm the one making things weird. He likes to play logic. He... I can't play logic with him. What is that? Duplicates both symbols of the previous card? He's accommodating me. What a champion. What a good guy. Elias, this is why we're friends. Yeah, you're right. She wouldn't want us to dwell. I gotta cheer up. After all, she always looked so pleased when she was here. Making people smile, giving them samples of cool new stuff, even if they were broke. I think it might just have been her favorite place. He's sounding pretty empathetic right now. She'd be so happy to see the two of us talking over, or taking over the store like this. You out there on the open road and me uh, keeping an eye on things here, which is totally just as exciting. Not that I mind, of course. Being stuck out here in the caravan would... Or being stuck out there in the caravan would drive me crazy. Yeah, yeah. Thought you sounded a little empathetic there. Oh, there's the caravan now, right on schedule. The leader, Nadine, runs a tight ship, but I don't trust her. I hear she's planning to drop the town from the caravan route. That'd be real bad for Barto. Hey, while you're out there, maybe you can change your mind? Give him a little bit of logic. Then a little bit of empathy. <laughs> I'm just kind of throwing stuff out there. I'm not super sure if I'm making the right decisions or if the game is making my decisions right right now. No matter what, you're going to do great. I bet you'll come back with a bunch of cool stuff. You packed everything you need, right? Socks? If the truck breaks down out there and you don't have socks, it, it's all over. Don't worry about this place. It's in good hands. Take care of yourself out there. You'll miss Elias too, and... Wish it, uh, you didn't have to leave so soon. You've planned this trip for a while, but it only started to feel real in the last few hours. The store needs three new products. Choose a card from your experience to gain. Yo, why would I gain anything but accommodate? Oh, and a card from my past to forget? Here. I don't need to be so empathetic. I need to be more accommodating. Barto, Quiet enough to hear the grasshoppers rub their wings together at dawn and the crickets at dusk. You know the name, nickname, and favorite color of every person in town. It's time to leave for a spell. Nadine is the resolute leader of the caravan and it looks like she favors logic over empathy, but she's equal, roughly equal. I think that's how I want to want this nomenclature to work for myself. She favors logic over empathy. Follow close. Almost a dozen vehicles sputter down Bartow's dirt roads. Their engines once signaled Mom's imminent departure as well as her return. Nadine, sitting on the running board of her truck, cab, gestures for your attention. I trust you have sufficient provisions for the route. Our first stop will be... Uh... Pachenko. The artist colony. 
Nadine mentioned a place for Mom's stories. Be alert. Reptiles cross Thunder Lizard Road to their heart's content. You don't want guts on your windshield. <laughs> she told me about the road. Okay. This art style is adorable, by the way. So she favors logic over empathy. Boom. Every once in a while, I think I'm going to have to make a sacrifice here. My condolences for your loss. Your mom and I had our differences, but I respected her all the same. Before the caravan heads out, we need to talk. Right, isn't that what we're doing right now? Unless you turn the store around and keep it well stocked, the caravan will have to drop Bartow from the route. But Nadine... Ah, I thought you were empathetic. I know it's hard to hear all this right now. Oh, it resets the entire thing. Boom. I'll save the accommodate for later. The s double circles are like her eyeglasses. And the little markings under her eyes. <laughs> Without the store in good shape, it doesn't make sense for the caravan to stop here. Awful waste of resources. I probably don't have to spell it out that this would be bad for Barto. I know y'all depend on the traffic. Are you being empathetic again? It's not my choice, not entirely. I make the final call, but I'm beholden to, beholden to the caravan members and their needs. Believe it or not, Barto would be dropped already if I didn't know your mom a favor. I argued on your behalf. Empathy! Empathy! Looks like we're on the same page, Nadine. It might not sound like it, kid, but I'm in your corner. My hands are tied with this. I want to see you succeed. Nothing about this situation is good, but Nadine probably isn't to blame. You thank her for the info. Choose a card to gain. We do need one of these. So we'll trade it out for, uh, double empathy. Oh, uh, we're done here. Okay, so what is this? Trips remaining. I need to find three items to make the store reopenable. Caravan's first stop is Pachenko. Let's see how mom's truck fares. So how do I... This is my quest. What do I do? What do I do? Calendar. I'm clicking on things, I swear. So we have profiles of people. Oh, Elias is more empathetic than logical? I did not know that. There's a lot of people in this game. This profile is going to be very handy. There's a... A lot of abilities to discover? Unexpected. Yo, why do I feel stupid? Yo, why do I feel stupid right now? What's going on? What do I do? <laughs> I'm sorry, but... What do I click on? Like, I'm clicking on, like, everything now. It's not- nothing's doing. I mean, this is, like, a weird place to put that. I'm trying to drag things as well. Oh, I need to go away from the calendar. Oh my god. I feel so stupid. <laughs> Let's go to Pachenko. Thriving arts community on the high plateau. It makes sense that they would favor empathy over logic. All right, let's go. Took us five days to get there. The twisty canyon roads leading to Pachenko would send a green traveler in circles. A rundown vehicle has trouble with the last slope up to the plateau, but Nadine leaves no one behind. 
Isabella's an amazing confectioner and an old friend of mom's. She favors logic over empathy. Isabella keeps the door, stop, or door to her shop propped open, flooding Pachenko with the sweet scent of fresh licorice, caramels, and other sugary confections. Irresistible, irresistible advertising. Oh, you're so far from home. When I saw you come in for just a moment, I'd have sworn you were her very image. I wish I could have stayed around longer after her funeral. I can't get much time away from the shop, you know. I'm gonna get some candy and take it back to my store, lady. I mean, by golly! By golly! Wait, 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 you're just like straight up logic? Well, this is like the best option that I have right here. Wait, 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 that, that was it? That just ended? I th it was only a th it was only a four for or a three for a three for. It was beautiful her funeral. You did so well, scattering the ashes as the sun rose over the houses. Not a dry eye left in town that day. Oh yeah, because there's two X's over here. It makes sense. She chose Barto. I knew her longer than anyone, and there's no place she'd rather rest. She's got a gap in her teeth. All right, she's feeling particularly empathetic. Heck, whoa! Whoa, that's a double symbol. Do you love licorice the way she did? I always saw her chewing on a rope like it was a stalk of wheat. Go on, have some. Take some for her store, too. Well, your store. That sounds really bad for your teeth. You were never close with Isabella, but she always seemed kind to mom. This could be a chance to become better friends and sample some tasty candy. You know, I used to hate licorice, but I've grown to enjoy it over the years, so, you know what? Now we're gonna keep some of the devil empathies. Let's trade out one of the... one of these. This seems like a really powerful card. Unless it has to match both of them. In which case, I'm gonna be very... ...confused. Nadine contemplate... Con let me try again. Nadine contemplates a cast bronze sculpture of a frill-necked lizard whose head has been replaced with a man's vacant features. She rubs her chin for a while, chewing on some thoughts, but not licorice, just some thoughts. You handle those steep hills and inclines well. The caravan's next stop will be Clifton, the market town. The road we take is prone to landslides. Ride close. If I can't see your truck, I can't protect you. What are you gonna- you have superpowers, Nadine? I'm gonna throw some empathy at you, you give me some logic back, I know how you work, lady. Frankly... I don't know what you're expecting of me here. So, I'm gonna... It's kind of what I thought you were gonna do. So, in that case, let's, um finish this conversation off with something incredible. We only needed one. This was a short conversation. Your mom had a lot of history here in Pachenko. Many friends, I believe. She always loved the licorice. You admire the sculpture with Nadine in companionable silence for a moment, imagining how mom must have found herself in an identical situation many, many times over the years. Alright, we're gonna stop in Clifton next. We can, we can get a double logic. And it looks like we're forced to take these. So we're becoming more logical as we move forward. And then we can move on and not get stuck at the calendar this time. Pachenko! And we can't head to Clifton, but I'm going to save that for the next episode. It's about time we have a uh, <laughs> shorter episode of um, these deck builders. Uh, so far, uh... I'm intrigued by what this is going to throw at me over time. Um, it's a very... different kind of deck builder. Uh, it seems like we're always stuck at 10 cards, and we have to intelligently choose what to trade out and what to bring in. And then we have to figure out how to use our hand and dissect the conversations and people's natures to be able to uh, figure out how to win the conversation, 
Even though perhaps winning is not what you want to do in a conversation, it's more about listening and companionship and being a, a good friend and a good acquaintance and not being a rude person. But you know what? We gotta win. It's a video game. So we're gonna continue trying to win on the next episode. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.